Hello everybody, this is All House Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Psychonauts 2. In the previous episode, we learned the truth about Maligula, and were then taken to Green Needle Gulch to try and, well, get rid of Maligula once and for all. And in trying to find help in doing so, we ran into Cassie, who seems to be being held prisoner by, well, bees. Let's see if we can't find some way to help her out. Cassie? Shh, they'll hear you. Cassie, would you sign my copy of Mind Swarm? I was wondering when you were going to ask. What took you so long? Thanks, Cassie. So, are you the Green Needle Witch? What? Why would you say such a thing? Because you lurk through the woods in the dark. I do my beekeeping at night because this darn bee suit is so hot. Because you're so pointy. Those are pine needles. They stick to the honey on my suit. I can't help it. Because you're so tall. Okay, well, I do wear lifts in this thing so I can reach the upper hives, but what beekeeper doesn't do that? No reason. Well, I'll admit, I have been playing into the legend a little bit. Why? I need to keep people away from here to protect it. This is a sacred place. What's up with these strange bees? Things. I've lost control of the bees. They're keeping me like a prisoner here. I'm going to help get you out of here, Cassie. Shh. Thanks. What are you doing out here by yourself? Why don't you work out of the mother lobe with the rest of the psychonauts? Oh, I never could adapt to the whole new psychonauts thing. I like to stay out here and remember the old days. Also, I want to take care of it as best I can, in case Ford and the others ever come back. Would you mind if I snuck a peek inside your mind? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went away. Ooh. Yeah, that might explain a lot. expected to be Cassie I it's okay I know why you're here now to whom shall I dedicate this inscription not that many people find their way in here these days you must have a good head on your shoulders uh, definitely a big one now, just imagine what you could do if you were using 175% of your brain! Actually, Cassie, I need your help with something else. We're on a critical mission, but there's a swarm of bees that's making it impossible. Stop right there, young man. Nothing is impossible. If you follow the 25 simple steps I've outlined in my book. Now then, let's go show these bees what we can do when we put our minds together. There's that pesky little volume. Thank you, young man. I have been looking for this silly book forever. Wait, she was going to help me. What? This one? <laughs> oh, I'll admit the author was helpful once, when we needed the money to leave the country, but that was a long time ago. But when the chips were down and we needed to fight to protect our friends? Ah, worthless. Is there... Another Cassie book in there that could help me? They are all restricted. Hmm. Then again, maybe I could help you. If you were to help me. There are two other books missing from my collection. Dangerous books. 
these are the books that got us into this horrible situation. These are the wrong books, you understand? Round them up for me. Take them out of circulation. They are overdue. Understand? Then you'll help me with the bees? I'll help you with the whole alphabet, Sonny. Hmm. Didn't the bees that Compton were talking to when we came out of his mind mentioning something about a, um, librarian? Well, before I go into there, let's take a look around here. Matter of fact, let's take a look at the map. Cassie's Collection. 227 figments. Been a while since we had a number that big. Four nuggets of wisdom and two half a minds. Obviously a full complement of emotional baggage and two memory vaults. Interesting. Now I can hear some emotional luggage from here. Yep, suitcase, not hat box. I know I've been making that mistake way too much. Ooh, nugget of wisdom right there. I'll take this nugget. Uh, what'd that do for me? Hello? Lower your voice, please. Where should I look for the missing books? Maybe you should start at the beginning. Have you tried the children's corner? That well, seems like a good uh, spot as any to start. What books am I looking for exactly? One is supposed to be a teacher's edition textbook. But I doubt there are any valuable lessons in there. The other is a lurid crime story. Ugh, terrible books. The sooner we get them in isolation, the better. Can I talk to that nice writer, Cassie, again? You don't want to talk to her. She seems harmless, but she's full of dangerous ideas about human potential. Why do you want to round up these books? Because I'm the only one around here who cares about safety. I care. Great. The other Cassies had their chance to run things, and everybody got hurt. How did everybody get hurt? We all went to find a motivation. And guess which motivational speaker thought she could talk sense into that monster? Ridiculous! It just made her mad, made things worse. So now, I'm in charge, and I keep all the books in order. All the important books. Right. No offense, but I think you're running too tight a ship here. You can't keep people prisoner. Better to lock up a few books than have the entire library destroyed. I gotta run. No running in the library. This Screw you, I do what I want. This aspect of Cassie's mind seems to have her whole psyche on lockdown. Until I figure out a plan, I'll play along with their scheme to avoid suspicion. Well, at least Raz no <clears throat> is smart enough to know that she's no good from the start. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, let me grab the bust figment first. <clears throat> Nothing up that way. Okay, I need the time bubble. Especially if I'm going to be jumping across those things. Ow. 
Okay, let's see if I can't get back up there and collect those figments on the globe. Ooh. I see you. Come on. Gotcha. Oh boy, I'm definitely going to be coming back to collect the rest of the figments. Well, assuming I don't also get everything else. Come on. quite reach those ones, but given the way this thing works, if I tilt this enough, I might be able to. I think I'll be getting down onto that one. Or up to those ones. Nah, it definitely looks like I'm gonna have to come down from the upper levels to get to that one. Yep. Hey, can you help me find these books? I'm her favorite assistant and best assistant, and I already looked, so give it up. Right. Alright. Time to hit the children's corner. A child? No. Well, this shouldn't take too long. What the? Enabler supports negative thoughts. Sensors know when something's wrong. Kill the thoughts that don't go wrong. Seriously? Okay, time to get the side blast out. Hello. Hey, have you seen any runaway books? Uh, sorry. Smarts ain't my thing. Yeah, I can certainly tell by your name. Hi, I'm Rats. And I am the Lady of the Lake. Helper of knights on noble missions. Ooh, I'm on a noble mission. Can you help me? Sorry, already gave my sword to a handsome knight fighting a dragon. Having fun? Getting pretty sore, actually. This thing doesn't even have a saddle. Oof. Hi. Memento Mori. Okay. Yeah, important lesson to learn. <laughs> Memento Mori. Remember death, for it comes for us all. deal with this. Wait a second. I don't remember being in this book. Right, does that mean that that's a... That's gonna be a... That's a figment up there. And I gotta find some way to get to it. Oh, 
Okay. Oh wait, I see how. Yeah, that's how I get this figment. Watch out! There's a giant, uh, you out there hunting for you! Don't worry, young man. The librarian can't get in here. That's why she sends in her operatives. Who, me? I'm not an operative. I'm just playing along with her until I find the real Cassie. The real Cassie? Tell me, child, what is your name? Rasputin. And tell me. Who is the real Rasputin? The one you are with your friends? With your family? Or the one you save for your special someone? Hmm? Is that the real you? Or are you actually a combination of all those different identities? Important challenges in our lives can cause us to create entirely new identities for ourselves. Sometimes summoning powerful archetypes from our unconscious mind. The hero, the explorer, the shadow. My special talent allows me to summon up whatever archetype I need to survive my current situation. Would you like me to teach you how? Focus your minds up. It's like projection, huh? Eye on a vision of the archetype you need most right now. Oh, well, very good. Woohoo! You'll get better with practice. Ah, oh, he's adorable. And that is the last of our powers. Projection. He's so cute. Your archetype will act on its own sometimes, but you can also focus it on a specific task. Your nimble archetype can squeeze through narrow openings. Focus your archetype on the door using the projection and watch it pass through. Oh, look at him go. So cute. The door like a pit. That's the spirit. What Aww. a good boy. See where this little fellow takes you. I'll meet you at the end, and then I'll tell you my plan for the librarian. Hey! Not now! I'm working! Right, well, let's see what upgrades we can get for this now. Okay. Summon an archetype, Medipal. Your archetype has a healing presence that slowly restores mental energy. Sure! I hope my improved projection abilities don't go to my archetype's head. Let's see. Two ply. Your archetype can take twice as much damage. Hypercuts. Enemies take damage when they melee attack your archetype. Yeah, those seem like good powers to have. Hi. I'm a fish. Look at my bones. Good dog. <laughs> oh, he turns into an airplane whenever you get too far away from him. Lob dub. What was that? Lob dub. Lob dub. Lob dub. Uh. Lob. Hey, I know you. Aren't you from the mind and introduction? Yes, yes. Always nice to meet a fan. No time for autographs, though. Sorry. Wow. Conceited. Please excuse me. I have a lot of thinking to do. See, so archetype can operate switches for you. Target the switch using projections to tell your archetype to use. Why so glum, Dino Chum? Well, I'm from an old textbook. And it turns out, I'm not considered a real dinosaur anymore. Please don't tell the librarian. She'll throw my whole book out. Got it! Back in the gif! 
He's so cute. Don't you just love books? Yes, <laughs> they're delicious. How's it going? You mean a bit flat. <laughs> yep. I see he loves puns. Hey, maybe you should try reading books instead of eating them. Read books? What is that, some no fad diet? Oy. Sounds like a good way to starve to death. Excuse me. Yes? Are you in pain? To be free of the flesh is to be free of pain, my child. There's still nerve endings in your muscles and, and bones, man. How did you lose your skin? I donated my body to medical science. I had no idea this is what they had in mind. Yikes. Are you mad about it? Skin's actually a lot more trouble than it's worth, to be honest. I'm free of rashes, itching, pimples. Yeah, you're also free of any protection from infection. Aren't you cold? Cold is a feeling of the flesh, my friend. No skin, no cold. You look like you could teach me a lot about anatomy. You bet. How's this for starters? There's one of me inside of you. Gross. Hey, that's insensitive. Why aren't you, like, dripping blood and stuff? It happens from time to time, but I just go over to the horror books and drip on them. They like it. Bye, muscle man. Bye, baggy old clothes boy. Ah, it's you! My best friend! What's your name again? <laughs> What's that? Limbo! Limbo! So cute. All right, where's that enabler? Not very, it turns out. No effect. They're protected by that enabler. Yeah, I'm trying to stun him so I can kill him. Now if only you would target him. They all came back out. You don't bite people, do you? Only if their name is Ferris. Huh? Sorry, magnet humor. I get it. Ferris metal. Ferromagnetism. Hi. What are you two up to? We're running away from our spouses to start a new life together. Okay. Hey, do you bite people? Periodically. Yeah. So, what are you a molecule for? I don't know. What are you a person for? Wow. Hey, are you the formula for a general conical surface? No, oh, I just clenched my belt too tight. Hard to breathe. Okay, then. What are you a formula for? S sine waves. Hey there. Hello, I'm missing a piece. Can you calculate its volume? No. Kids today. I mean, our speed's like 10? I don't know about you, but I don't think I was learning that kind of math at the age of 10. Man, I, I'm gonna be honest, I really like this paper art. It's just something about it that I really enjoy. Alright, business as usual. You there's some emotional baggage nearby. Yeah, I, I hear it I hear too. Something. 
but the odds of me having the tag for it are slim to none. Yeah, there's the purse. Hey, you two. Not a good time. Nice sword. Twas bequeathed to me by the fair lady of the lake, so that I may slay this dragon. What did I ever do to you? What are you guys fighting about? No idea. I was just chilling when the crusader here got all aggro on me. Let those be thy last words, worm from hell! Hey, can I borrow that sword? Yes, please, take it. Nay! For tis my duty most holy to embed its steel into this deadly beast. See? What normal person talks that way? Is there a way we could maybe de-escalate this situation? This guy and his horse are just straight up jerks. <laughs> I agree, Silverwind. Dragons are a plague on our land. Mr. Knight? That's Sir Knight to you. Sir Knight, maybe you should just leave that dragon alone? Have you allied yourself with the devil's winged serpent? Hey, kid, don't worry about it. I already called the cops. I'm just keeping this weirdo occupied until they get here. Summon whatever reinforcements you wish. We'll need them to haul your stinking carcass away. <laughs> okay, buddy. Maybe we should focus on what you two have in common. Like... Do you guys like pizza? Oh, yeah. Me... me too. Well, that's amazing. I had no idea dragons liked pizza. Great. What are your favorite flavors? Pepperoni. Well, I usually get half and half. On one side, I like pineapple and ham, and on the other side, I like maidens and cheese. Oh, my God. Pineapple and ham is an abomination. I knew you were a fell beast. Will you two be okay if I leave? Yeah, don't worry. This guy's all talk. I am merely finishing up my pre-smoting prayers. Whatever. You're a knight, not a paladin. I need the purse tag here. Yeah, I figured I didn't have it. Alright, that should be just about everything in here. Well, outside of the ones I didn't collect that were on the way out. Oh wait, of course, there's the purse tag. Got the purse tag. Yep. All right, fine. Let's get that purse taken care of. Okay, got that one. Oh, joy, another enabler. Oh, hey, memory vault. Watch it. Yeah, of 
course there's more, but you know what? Let me take care of this memory vault and then we'll end it off there. Gassy's escape plan. Eh, apparently she was stuck printing money for some, uh, or helping to print money for some criminal overlord. And of course she ended up taking the fall for it. Mind Swarm got her a ton of money so she could get out and left it all behind. I guess that's what the librarian was talking about earlier but when they needed to get out of the country. Okay, now that those two annoyances are taken care of, I think this is a good place to end this episode off here for today. So, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for an upload, or to hit the straw link to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.